Good afternoon, everybody. I know it's really warm. I will keep this really short uh, for those purposes. Uh, thank you all for being here. This is the fourth installation of the Uncornered Photo Project, and I am proud to be a part of it. I'm also proud to be the co-founder of Boston Uncornered. My name is Michelle Caldera. Boston Uncornered is the inspiration for this project. It was created to unlock the potential of core influencers. We do that by engaging and supporting individuals on their journey to healing and growth. By believing in the transformative power of education and by investing in their path to success. We created Uncornered to lift up core influencers as the solution to violence in the city. We pour into them with love, with resources, and with hope. And we amplify their stories. I hope you've had a chance to walk through and read the stories here today with these stunning photos. Because when you read Ruben's story, and Ruben's over here, and when you read Alex's story, hey, Alex in Gio's and Antonio's, when you read Francisco's story and Will Dunn's story, you will see why Phil Johnson of PJA and his team were inspired to create this project. You'll see why John Hewitt has given so generously of his time over the last three years to create these stunning portraits and why our partners like WS Development is hosting us again for the second time in the seaport. Thank you, Yanni. We are at a historic moment in Boston, a milestone for Uncornered. We launched Uncornered five years ago. The last year and a half, we have not escaped the challenges that many people have seen, for sure. But we are ready to rebuild stronger together. We have uh, Tito Santos Silva, uh, who is our executive director, ready to rebuild with us. His story is over here, I think. Um, we have Francisco De Pina and Will Dunn, who are our new directors of College Readiness Advisors. Alex and Ruben uh, have enrolled in the program with us a few years ago. They are now interns to be CRAs, to be college readiness advisors. They are training with us to do that. It's also a historic moment for the future of our city. This is the milestone edition of the Uncornered Photo Project, the mayoral candidate edition. And so I am proud to have built my life and my life's work in this city, where the next elected leader of Boston will be a person of color. I wanna thank them all for participating in this project. John Barros is here, thank you, John, for participating in this project and being such a good friend to Boston Uncornered over the years in your work in the city. And I'm also proud that our current leader is a black woman and I'm grateful to have Mayor Janey with us today to say a few words. Can you come up and say a few words, Mayor? Good afternoon. Uh, it is so humbling uh, to stand before you as the first woman mayor and the first black mayor and to be featured uh, here in Uncornered. And I wanna thank you, Michelle, for your continued dedication to the city of Boston. I wanna thank the entire Boston Uncornered team. I wanna shout out Tito, thank you so much for your work. I wanna shout out Mark, uh, who is not here today, and, and John Hewitt, who has done just a spectacular job here. Um, also wanna shout out John Barros, uh, who is here uh, with us as well. You know, I am really grateful uh, for this project 
uh, using art as a tool for love, as a tool for healing, as a tool for peace, as a tool for justice. And I want to give a quick shout out to our arts and, our arts and culture chief, uh, Cara Elliott Ortega, for all of the work that she does to advance that here in the city of Boston. And with this project specifically, that takes folks who are not always recognized for their leadership and their contributions, people who have had to overcome a number of challenges in their life. Uh, and certainly that is true of myself, uh, but what I have learned early on is to turn obstacles into opportunities and stumbling blocks into stepping stones. And I think it is important that all of us continue to reach out, extend our arms, to make sure as we organize our communities for peace and healing and justice, that we remember everyone doesn't have a traditional path and that there are leaders among us who are unsung heroes who are not always recognized. And I think that is what is so special about this project. And I'm just grateful for the opportunity to certainly participate uh, and to continue to lead our city as mayor of Boston through some unprecedented challenges. But as we see, as we continue to move our city forward, there are so many folks who are contributing to the vibrancy of our city, who are ensuring that we come out of the darkest days of the pandemic as we continue to live with COVID, a stronger city and a city that is more equitable, more just and resilient. And every single person who is featured here has contributed to that story. So I am just grateful to be on this journey with all of you, with all of the folks who are pictured here, uh, who may not be present. And I wanna thank everyone who has helped to put this together. So thank you so much, Michelle. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I promised not a long speech. I do want to say, um, recognize one other person, uh, our board member, Jarrell Engerman, who is also part of the project. Um, where's Jarrell? Jarrell's over here. Um, thank you so much for your leadership. I don't think there are other board members here. Um, I do see a couple of funders. I see our friends from the United Way here. Hi. Um, I want to close by asking uh, Yanni Sippus uh, from WS Development to say a few words. Uh, Yanni has been a great friend to the organization, a great partner for Boston Uncornered, has hosted us here in the Seaport uh, last October and here again now. The exhibit will be up until September 15th. Uh, so again, I really invite you to uh, walk through the exhibit read the stories, scan the QR codes, and find out more. Um, some of the stories have audio portions uh, with them, so please uh, take a look. Yanni, will you? Um, thank you. Thank you very much, Michelle. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Yanni Sippis with WS Development, and it's a pleasure to welcome all of you here, and I just want to say again thank you so much to Michelle and Tito and Mark and the whole Uncorner team, Mayor Janey, thank you so much uh, for being here. We really, we really appreciate your support and attendance. Uh, John, uh, Chief Elliot Ortega, thank you all. Um, uh, so we'll, we'll open with a note of thanks. I'll be very, very brief. Uh, it is very humbling, and Mayor, you used this word, and we couldn't agree more. It's humbling for us to host Boston Uncornered here uh, in the Seaport for a second year. It's such a wonderful opportunity for people from all over the city to share stories. That, and that means a lot to us because as we collectively you know, work on building the city's newest neighborhood, the heart of what we're trying to do is create a place that feels and is welcoming to all Bostonians and says to all Bostonians in a very direct way that speaks to people personally where they are that you're welcome here. This place belongs to you. And uh, it, you know, it's been said through history that Boston is a city of neighborhoods. Certainly this is an emerging neighborhood of the city. Really, Boston's a city of people. Those neighborhoods are made up of people. And each of those people has a story to tell. 
and so we can't think of any more wonderful way to use, you know, part of the, the, the physical work that we're doing here, one of the new parks that we've, we've completed in recent years, um, than as a place where Bostonians of all different backgrounds, with all different perspectives, with all different stories to tell, can tell their stories and can share those stories and help to create a kind of common ground for the whole city, where people from all over the city can learn the stories that other Bostonians have shared and can feel welcome and can have that sense of belonging that's so important to creating a, you know, a wonderful uh, city of the future. And so uh, this is just one example of, uh, you know, of how we're working hard to do that. And we thank the Uncornered team you know, a great deal uh, for their partnership in helping to achieve that mission right here in Boston's newest neighborhood, which is a neighborhood that belongs to everyone and is for everyone. And uh, you know the stories that are told here on uh, on this park are just one example of how uh, that's all coming to fruition. So again, we thank you all very much uh, for joining us. Uh, we hope you'll spend some more time uh, walking around and uh, getting to know the neighborhood. And uh, we appreciate everybody's time. Thank you all, and have a good day. Cheers. Thank you. We'll be here until about 12:30 or so. Um, Again, please read the stories, go to uncorner.org, find out more, see the rest of the portraits. This is a special edition, so there are other portraits that we have developed over the years, over the last three years, that are part of the project. Um, and thank you guys for being here and for coming. Um, and enjoy. <laughs>